The mountain. See, see that? A big tall when I was little, Daddy told me a story about how he climbed a mountain. He and Granny took sandwiches. I want to climb the mountain, I said. It's a long way to the top, said Daddy. We could take sandwiches, I said. Maybe, said Daddy. So one day, Daddy took me to climb the mountain. We drove the car round a big lake. We stopped at the bottom of the mountain. And sandwiches for when we get to the top. All wrapped up. Willie came too. We're going up the mountain. Are you ready, Tig? Yep. Ready, I said. And off we went to climb the mountain. You excited? The mountain was very tall. The mountain was very steep. Up and up we climbed. I like climbing the mountain. When we looked down the mountain, nice. the big lake didn't look right. big anymore. Can I have a sandwich? I said. I Not yet, said Daddy. We'll have them at the top. Just one, I said. OK, wipe your hands. Tomato. tomato, OK. I like the tomato sandwiches best. There you go, just one sandwich, OK? Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I like climbing the mountain, but I was tired. What do you want? When we looked down the mountain, the big lake was small. Can I have another sandwich? Tig, there'll be none left. Please, I said. Just one. I eat another tomato sandwich. I love the tomato sandwiches. Up the mountain we climbed again. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. Up and up we went. I didn't like climbing the mountain anymore. I was very tired. Can I have another sandwich? Another sandwich, but look the top. Here's the top of the mountain, said Daddy. Just one last climb and we'll be there. Please. This is the last tomato sandwich, OK? I ate the last tomato sandwich. And then we can go to the top. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go. What? No, I said. No more tomato sandwiches. I want to go home. OK, I'll have my egg sandwiches, and then we can go home. I was so tired. Hey, Tig, look how far you've climbed. You have come all that long way, so you feel tired. But when you get to the top of the mountain, you'll feel something else. You feel so happy. So pleased and so proud at standing on the top of the world. Wahey! And Tig, you're nearly there. Look! One more step and another one, two. One more step and another three, four. One more step and you're nearly there. to finish what you started. Yes, I thought. I want to finish what I started. I want to go to the top. The mountain was very steep. The mountain was very tall. But then we got to the top. I felt so happy. We could see the sea and the castle and all the big city. When a lady saw Willy, she got a fright. It's only a toy spider. I like climbing mountains. I like climbing to the top. And I love Willy. We've been scared since we were three. Holding hands. When I was little, I liked my nursery school. Different things happened every day. One day, Miss Claire, my nursery teacher, took us all to the gym at the big school. Now we need to make sure we all hold hands at all times. We held hands. I held hands with Louise. Now we're going to cross some roads, said Miss Claire. We had to look and listen for the traffic. 
We held hands and waited for the green man. The traffic stopped and the green man came on. Hold hands and straight across the road and keep looking, said Miss Claire. What do we do? When we came to another road, there was no green man. Take extra care, said Miss Claire. We'll find a safe place where we can see all the roads. When there was no traffic, Miss Claire said it was safe to cross. Hold hands and straight across the road. And keep looking, said Miss Claire. The big school was big. The gym was big too. There was lots of room to play. Claire made an obstacle course. On the way back, we crossed all the roads again. I looked and listened and held hands. I did everything Claire told me. After school, my daddy came to collect me, to take me to the library. Daddy! <gasps> Miss Claire told daddy that I had been very grown up and sensible at crossing the roads. Bye, Claire. Bye, Claire. I felt pleased. I felt like a big girl. Okay, take my hand. No. Why not? Because I'm a big girl. Hold my hand, said Daddy. No, I said. Tig. When the green man turned to green, Daddy picked me up and carried me across the road. We came to another road. Right, Tig, we need to cross the road. Take my hand, please. No. Hold my Why hand. I'm a big girl. You Daddy picked me up Let's and carried me straight Let's across see. the road. Right. I was not happy. Roads, okay? In Come the on. library, I was cross. Do you want to choose a book, choose said a book. Daddy. No. No, I okay. said and Why sat with Wooly. I was very up. cross. Hey, Tig, it's not nice being treated like a little girl just when you think you are a big and sensible girl. It's not nice being told what to do when you think you know everything. But just because you know how to cross a road safely doesn't mean that Daddy should let you do it all by yourself. Boom, boom, honk, honk, beep, beep. <coughs> Roads are busy places. Holding Daddy's hand lets him know you're safe. Holding Daddy's hand lets you know he's safe too. Then you can both look. Beep, beep. And listen without any worries. You can cross the road safely together. So go for it, Tig. Be clever and say sorry to Daddy and hold his hand all the way home. Beep, beep. Yes, I thought. I'll be clever. Sorry, Daddy! Oh. And say sorry to Daddy. On, Daddy and me chose a library book. Yeah, yeah. Let me take these books. The library lady got a shock yeah. when she saw Willy. <gasps> it's only a tight spider. I held Daddy's hand all the way home. I like to be safe. I love Willy. We've been scared since we were Morning, Tig. Daddy, where's Mummy? When I was little, my Mummy went away to look after Grandad. I'm here to look after you and Wooly, said Daddy. Let's get you dressed. Daddy just dumped my clothes on the bed. I like my clothes laid out like a scarecrow, I said. Let's get you dressed. When I got dressed, Daddy got it all wrong. Trousers. Daddy forgot my socks, went on before my trousers. I had to get dressed all over again. Arms, rid of those arms. Right, and there's Willie. Come on, let's go through and have some breakfast. Come on, and get your breakfast. At breakfast, Daddy poured my Aussie flakes into a mountain. Daddy, I don't want to add a mountain. Oh, right. I like my oaty flakes poured flat. Right, take, here's your milk. 
Then Daddy poured milk from the edges instead of the middle. Daddy knows from the sides and the middle. Well, can you make a hole for it? Daddy gave me the wrong spoon. Daddy, I want my special spoon. Oh, okay. Daddy's rubbish, isn't he? You get stuck in. After breakfast, Daddy wanted to play with my bricks. I didn't like Daddy playing with my bricks. Is that the way you're meant to do it? He got all the colours and shapes the wrong way round. I sat in my little house. After a big bit, Daddy said, Come on, Tig, we're going indoor sledging. Do some indoor sledging? Yay! Look, I've got your snowsuit and I've got your wellies. Come on then. Daddy had my waterproofs and my Wellington. When we arrived at the sledging, I was hungry, so Daddy took me for some lunch. I didn't like my lunch. My peas were next to my fish and not by my potatoes. I just ate the potatoes. The indoor sledging was inside. Daddy wanted me to put on my waterproofs. We need to get no, I said. I wear my waterproofs outside, oh not inside. We can't go sledging then, said Daddy. Everything was wrong today. Nothing was just how I like it. Hey, Tig, always doing things in exactly the same way makes you feel safe and happy. But no one can know exactly how you like things to be done because everyone is different. Some things are important to one person, but not to another. No need to be fussy. Which sock goes on first or where the peas go on your plate doesn't matter. Putting on your waterproofs inside for a change won't spoil your day. Whee! It'll mean you can go inside sledging! <coughs> go for it, Tig! Stop fussing and have fun! Yes, I thought. There's no fun fussing. Daddy, can I put my wet? I like doing things differently today with my daddy. What do we say? Whoa. We had fun inside, indoor sledging in my waterproofs. When a lady saw Willie on my sledge, she nearly fell over. I don't like being fussy. I like having fun with everyone. And I love Willie. We've been guessing to Willie. She climbed into the Funny bed, tummy. As warm as a when I was little, I loved my nursery school. Willie liked my nursery school too. I liked my nursery teacher, Miss Claire. I liked all my friends. We liked playing together. I liked Hashim. Hashim was funny. Hashim got excited a lot. Hashim shouted a lot. She laughed a lot. One day, Hashim pushed me. I didn't like Hashim. I didn't like my nursery school. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt. Daddy? Yeah? I have a sore tummy. Whereabouts? All right, come on, I think we should go home. On, Daddy took me home. The next day on the way to nursery school, my tummy hurt again. Daddy. Yeah. I've got the tummy. Shall we maybe go and try and see the doctor? Shall we go and see? Come on then. Poor Tig. Tig Jameson, doctor will see you now. Thank you. Daddy took me to see the doctor. Hello, Tig. Come on in and have a seat. I liked going to the doctor. 
Now, what can we do for you today? I've got a sore tummy. Oh, the doctor asked me about the pain in my tummy. The doctor said to lie down on a big bed. Just go to lift your top up like this and then have a wee feel of your tummy. The doctor felt my tummy. She listened to my inside. Let's have a wee listen and see what noises your tummy's making. Nothing to worry about, said the doctor. Tell me how you feel tomorrow. I like the doctor. She made my tummy better. Daddy said we can have a fun day together. Daddy took me to a park. Make sure Willie doesn't fly away. After the park, we went to a cafe. We were having fun. How's your sore tummy? said Daddy. Gone, I said. Doctor made it better. Good, said Daddy. Maybe you can go back to nursery school tomorrow. My tummy didn't feel very well again. Hey, Tig, it's not nice when your tummy feels funny. Maybe your tummy feels funny because things are not quite right inside your tummy. But maybe your tummy feels funny because something is worrying you outside. Hey, Tig, something is worrying you outside, isn't it? Hashim, you're worrying about Hashim because he can be a bit rough sometimes. When you have a worry like that, you must tell someone. Tell Miss Claire, tell Daddy. Sharing worries can help other people sort them out for you. Sharing worries will help your tummy feel a whole lot better again. Go for it, Tig. Share your worries and tell Daddy. Yes, I thought. I'll tell Daddy about Hashim. Hashim. Who's he? Um, he's a boy at my nursery. He pushed me. When I told Daddy about Hashim, my tummy didn't feel funny anymore. I told Claire about Hashim too. Yes, Tig? Hashim pushed me. Thank you very much for telling me, Tig. We'll speak about it later, OK? My tummy didn't hurt anymore. When I showed Willie to Hashim, it's only a toy spider. He ran away. I like my nursery school. I like Hashim. I love Willie. We Sand Castle. Right, Tig, where shall we put When I was little, I went to the seaside. He had buckets and spades and a picnic. Oh. Willie came too. OK. There was sand everywhere. Oh. Mummy and me ran down to the sea. Oh. Mummy showed me how to draw pictures in the sand. Mummy drew a mermaid. We gave the mermaid lots of shells and seaweed hair. Tick! Picnic time! Daddy made a picnic. We had sandwiches. There's not sand in your sandwiches, though. There was sand in my sandwich. Shall we go back down to the beach and see that mermaid? Come on. Come on, Tig. After the picnic, we looked at the mermaid. The mermaid was gone. Just see. She must have swam away, said Mummy. Come on, Tig. Let's go make a sandcastle. OK, it's time to build the sandcastle, said Daddy. We built a real sand castle with our buckets and spades. We made a big hill of sand. We patted the sands and made the hill smooth. We filled our buckets with sand and emptied them all over the hill. Wow! We made windows in the castle with shells and flags with seaweed. 
Looks just like a mermaid's castle. Looks like a mermaid's castle, said Mummy. I loved my mermaid sand castle. Willie loved it too. When it was time to go, I wanted to take my sand castle home. <laughs> no, Tig. The sand belongs on the beach. No, said Mummy. Tig. Why don't you go and get Willie? I didn't want to leave my sand castle. The sea might wash it away. I want to live with my mermaid castle forever. Hey, Tig! Whee! I know it's sad leaving things behind you like. It's glum leaving things you had so much fun making. But some things belong where they are. Sand castles belong on the sandy beach by the sea. If everyone took their sand castles away, there'd be no sand left to play for another day. A hill, a pool, a starfish, an octopus. Who knows? Swish! What magic shape? Swish! The sand will make tomorrow. Swish! But today we have... Da -da -da -da! We have your mermaid and her castle. So go for it, Tig. Wave bye-bye to your mermaid and her castle and let them go back to the sea where they belong. Yes, I thought. My mermaid and her castle belong to the sea. Bye-bye, mermaid. Bye-bye, castle. <laughs> On our way back to the car, Bully and me chased Daddy. Daddy thought Willy was an octopus. It's only my toy spider, I said. Come on, Tig, come on. I loved my day at the seaside. I loved my mermaid and her castle. And I love Willy. We've been getting since we were here. I don't smile. Get your photo taken, you? When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Willie came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. You're going to look so pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. Something very exciting's happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures. So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Take a look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire liked my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. Oops, I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, so you'll have to wait, Hi, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. <laughs> Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. 
Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! I no one was grumpy, but I was grumpy. Hey Tig, it's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh, I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Wooly. We've been together since we were three. Tra. When I was little, my daddy took me on a train. Wooly came too. Hello there. Uh, we had to buy tickets for the train. Daddy gave me my very own train ticket. At the front of the train was a steam engine. I'd never seen a steam engine before. The steam engine whistled. I was scared. Daddy was excited. He took lots of pictures with his camera. A man blew a whistle. Come on, Tig, said Daddy. Inside the train, we had our own little room with big armchairs. Woo woo! Chuff, chuff, chuff. I was so happy. This was the best day ever. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Chuff, chuff, chuff. Clutter, clutter, clutter. Hello there, tickets please. Tickets please, said the man. Through the country. Chip, chip, chip. Under the bridge. Chip, chip, chip. I love the train. Chip, chip, chip. Come on, said Daddy. Let's go and explore. We found a little shop. Orange juice, please. An orange juice? Daddy bought me a juice. Please. Bye, see you later. This was the best day ever. <gasps> Up the hill we chuck. Daddy said the engine driver would need to shovel lots of coal. I was so happy. The train chuffed into a little station. Daddy and me got off the train. Good girl. Time for lunch before we go home, said Daddy. Home, I thought. I don't want to go home. Daddy and me had lunch. It was the best day ever. I didn't want the day to end. Time to go home, said Daddy. No, I thought. I don't want to go home. Maybe if I had Daddy's camera for a little, then the day might go on for a little longer. So I hid Daddy's camera under a tree. Where's my camera? Maybe it's in the bin. Maybe I put it in the bin. Oops, Daddy's in a tease, Tig. Poor Daddy. Hey, Tig, when you're having the best day ever, thinking of it ending can make you feel sad and cross. But best days don't just end, they can be there forever. A best day is for remembering. A best day 
is for talking about to Mummy. A best day is for seeing all over again when you look at Daddy's pictures. Oops! And this best day you can carry away with you. Your very own train ticket to remind you of all you did. And hey, and there's more fun to come. Woo -woo! Chuff, 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 chuff. Go for it, Tig. Help Daddy and say sorry. Then you can have more of your best day together. Yes, I thought. I was making Daddy sad. I wanted us both to have the best day ever. I said sorry to Daddy for hiding his camera. You are happy again. Oh, there, do you have tickets? I showed Willy to the ticket man. Oh, dear me, what is that? It's only my toy spider, I said. I love remembering my best day ever. And I love Willy. Look, what's that big red white? When I was what's little, that? I went on a holiday. A we went on a boat to the holiday. I liked the boat. Wooly liked the boat too. At the holiday, we lived in a caravan. The caravan was like a little house. My friend Angel and my friend Timmy were on the holiday too. There were lots and lots to do at the holiday. There was a swimming pool with a bridge. Every day there was showtime. Hey. Mr. Tonka played the piano. Lady Daddy was funny and said nonsense. For your delectation. Mummy did a poem about a cat. The owl and the pussycat went to see. I like showtime. I made two puppets, Bernard and Bumpy. Bernard and Bumpy danced. <laughs> Everyone laughed. There was a big room with lots of games. Mummy and Daddy played a funny game called badminton. They hit a feathery thing. I wanted to hit it too. I couldn't hit the feathery thing. OK, you ready, Tig? Oh. Oh. I was cross. Tig. Daddy looked cross too. Angel did skipping. I wanted to skip like Angel. I couldn't skip like Angel. I was cross. Angel looked cross too. Timmy played another game, table tennis. I couldn't hit the ball. I was cross. Timmy looked cross too. Hi, Ted. You OK? No. I was cross. I was making everyone else cross too. Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with feeling cross. You're just feeling cross because you can't do some of the things other people can do. Skipping like Angel. Skip, skip, skibbity woo. Playing the badminton game like Mummy and Daddy. Pip, pop, pip, pop, pip, pop. Playing table tennis like Timmy. Ping pong, ping pong, pingity pong. But one day, when you're older, you'll be able to do all those things and lots more. But Tig, there's lots of things you can do now. You can make people laugh with your puppet shows. Hello, I'm Bernard. And I'm Bumpy. Hey Tig. Go and get rid of your cross feelings so they don't hurt anyone else. Go and have a good stomp. Then 
have fun making everyone laugh. <laughs> yes, I thought. I don't want to make anyone else cross. I shall have a stomp. I stomped into the ball pool till I was laughing again. <laughs> At showtime, I made everyone laugh with my stompy dance. When Mr. Tonka saw Willy, he got a fright. I saw the toy spider. I like making people laugh. I love Willy. We think it's just Willy. Sleepover. When I was little, I went to stay with my friend Angel. Hi, Angel. Oh. Mummy says, anytime you want to come home, just tell Angel's mum. See you tomorrow. No, I said, I want to stay the whole night at Angel's. I was sleeping in Angel's room. I put my pyjamas next to Angel's pyjamas. Look what I'm wearing today. Angel showed me my bed. It was very tiny. Angel said it was a magic bed. I can't sleep there. It's a magic bed. Then we went out to play. Angel's toys were different to my toys. Angel showed me how to hula hoop. Time, Angel's mummy made me my favourite. Fish fingers! We sat and climb up chairs in the kitchen. Angel's kitchen was different from my kitchen. I liked Angel's kitchen. <laughs> All finished. After tea, we played with Angel's dolls. Angel's dolls were different to my dolls. Ready for bed, said Angel. Angel and me had a bath together. After bath, we cleaned our teeth. Angel's mummy helped me clean my teeth. I liked Angel's mummy. When we went into Angel's room, magic. Ting! My tiny bed was big. I could see Angel in her bed. Angel's mummy kissed me and Angel. Night night. Night night. Angel and me chattered. Angel stopped chattering. The room was quiet. I looked at Angel. Angel was asleep. I want my mummy, I heard my voice say. I looked outside. Angel's mummy was watching television. I felt sad. Mummy might miss me. I wanted mummy to kiss me night night. Hey Tig, feeling sad shows how much you love mummy. Mummy will miss you too. But mummy wants you to have a big adventure. Mummy wants to have the fun of giving you a big, big hug when you come home again. Mummy wants to have the fun of hearing all about your time away. But Tig, you can go home whenever you want. Angel's mummy won't mind and Mummy won't mind. So do you want to go home? Oh dear, you're not sure, are you? Hmm. So just for now, pop back into bed and count up how many kisses your mummy gives you every day. Then count up how many kisses you give to your mummy every day. Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I won't go home yet. So I counted how many times mummy kissed me and I... I woke up. It was daytime. I had slept all night at Angel's house. Angel, wake up. 
Angel we come. Ah! That's only a toy spider. I like staying the night with Angel. I love Willy. We beat guesses to a The hair cuts. When I was little, my hair grew long. Who's that? I liked my hair long. One day, my mummy took me for a ride on a bus with no roof. On the bus, we saw lots of things. We saw a big crane. <gasps> oh, wow, take a look, look. An aeroplane landed on the water. Some things I didn't see. I just saw my hair. That night, Mummy brushed my hair. Oh my it was all tangly. You're going to have to get your hair trimmed soon. The next day, Mummy and Daddy took me to see a play. Mummy tied my hair in bunches. You won't be able to see the play, said Mummy. Willie came too. There was a funny lady. Hello, boys and girls. Hello, nursing. The funny lady had bunches, just like mine. Do you like my bunches? You do? You've got bunches like mine, haven't you? What's your name? Tig. Tig. That's a lovely name. Well, this little ditty is especially for you. One bunch, two bunch, kiss my cheeks, so one bunch. Funny lady sang a song all about my bunches. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I sleep and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. I'm happy with my bunches, my bonny, bonny bunches. And when I sleep and hop and flounce, my bonny bunches bob and bounce. Night, Mummy brushed my bunches away. Once you get a wee trim, you won't have all these tangles at the bottom here, will you? The next day, Mummy took me to the hairdresser. Who's next? Said the hairdresser. You coming over? Have a seat. I jumped into the seat. The hairdresser picked up a big pair of scissors. Ah, uh, no, I want my bunchies! I didn't like the scissors. I wanted my bunchies. Do you want to come over, Brendan? I didn't want my hair cut. Hey, Tig, those scissors might look a bit scary, but don't worry, cutting hair doesn't hurt. Snip, snip, snippity snip. Look at Brendan. Brendan doesn't mind having his hair cut. He loves it. Snip, snip, snippity snip. And look at the hairdresser. He knows just how to use the scissors so they're safe. Tig, I know how you feel about your bunches. But having your hair cut doesn't mean you can't have bunches again. They might be a little smaller, that's all. But hey, having your hair cut means no more hair in your eyes. Having your hair cut means less tangles. Having your hair cut makes you feel all shiny and new. Oh, I'm happy with my hair cut, my happy, happy hair cut. Go for it, Tig. Get your hair cut. You'll love it. Yes, I thought. I want to be all shiny and new. Nothing to worry about. I'll have my hair cut. Snap, snap, snap. No more hair in my eyes. Snap, snap, snap. No more tangles. I'm happy with my hair cut. My happy, happy hair cut. Are you happy with that? Yeah. When the hairdresser saw Willie, he wasn't happy. What's that? Only a toy spider. Oh. I like having my hair cut. I love Willy. Supermarkets. When I was little, I went shopping with my mummy to a supermarket.
Willie came too. The supermarket was big. The supermarkets sold everything. Ironing boards. Ironing boards. Toasters. Televisions. Washing machines. We didn't buy a washing machine. Mummy wanted food. I told Mummy where to find things. Carrots. Carrots. A cabbage. Potatoes. Tomatoes. Onions. A melon. A big melon. That's a heavy one. Oh. Apples. Oranges. Bananas. I'll pop them in the back there. Grapefruit. Two. two. Yeah, let's get two. And a pineapple. The pink ones. The pink ones. I didn't want to be in a trolley seat. Yeah, yeah, no, but what are you going to do? Tell me what you're going to do. Stay next to you. Stay next to me all the time. Good girl. Mummy said to keep close and hold onto the trolley. Can <laughs> <laughs> you manage? I helped Mummy put things into the trolley. Milk. You're so strong. Mummy pushed the trolley. That's lots and lots of toys. I saw a fire engine. The fire engine had a ladder on top. I picked up the fire engine to show Mummy. When I looked, Mummy wasn't there. Tag. I ran down all the shelves and looked round the corner. Mummy wasn't there. Where was Mummy? I looked down some more shelves and some more shelves. No Mummy. I thought Mummy had left me. Mum, where are you? I thought I was all by myself. Then I saw Willie. Hi, I've lost my daughter. We're just in the toy section. Willie hadn't left me. Hey, Tig, Mummy hasn't left you, and Mummy hasn't run away. Mummy will be looking for you right now. Mummy loves you. Mummy will be just as worried as you are. You've just lost each other for a moment, that's all. When you ran up that way, Mummy was just behind you. <laughs> but when you turned the corner, Mummy didn't know which way you'd gone. You both keep moving around and missing each other. What a laugh! So the best thing for you to do is stay in one spot, here by the fire engines and me. Mummy will tell the store people and they will find you in no time. So we'll stay here and Mummy will come round the corner any minute. I waited in the one place. <laughs> Tig. And Mummy came round the corner. <laughs> I was so happy to see Mummy. Very much. Willie had a ride. The man was surprised to see Willie. <gasps> I got my toy spider. Right. I love my mummy. I love Willie. The dog. When I was little, my granny got a new dog. I went to visit my granny and her new dog with my daddy. Willie came too. In the park, on the way to granny, we saw lots of dogs. I wanted to play with the dogs. Can we play with the dogs? No, we don't know the dogs. Daddy said no. He said we should leave the dogs we don't know alone. I had fun just watching the dogs. Granny's dog was called Herbie. Hello! You come and see. I asked to see Herbie. He's in the kitchen having breakfast. Granny said we should leave Herbie alone when he was eating. We just watch. Daddy was looking in a cupboard. 
Daddy was trying to find a dog bed for Herbie to sleep in. Daddy found his old drum set. I made lots of noise on Daddy's drums. Then I heard another noise. Oh, 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 oh. Shh, Tig. Herbie doesn't like the noise. Herbie was barking in a rage. I didn't like Herbie barking. Daddy found his old space hopper. The hopper was fun. I bounced around the garden. Come on, Herbie. Let's see what's happening. Come on. I bounced up to Herbie. Herbie barked. Herbie looked scary. I didn't like Herbie. Listen, Tig, I think I'd better take him back inside. He's getting too excited. Granny took Herbie back inside. Here's one bed for Herbie. Daddy found a bed for Herbie. Do you want to come for a walk with Herbie? No. No, I said. I didn't like dogs. OK. Hey, Tig, you don't like Herbie because you don't know Herbie. Ruff. You need to get to know Herbie in just the same way Herbie needs to get to know you. Ruff. So what does Herbie like and what does Herbie not like? Granny says Herbie likes to eat in peace. Ruff. When you did your drumming, you found out that Herbie doesn't like loud bangs. When you bounced up to Herbie on the space hopper, you found out that Herbie gets frightened easily. He's like most dogs. And Herbie's barking, ruff, is his way of telling you what he's feeling. Ruff, ruff, woof, woof. So when you meet Herbie again, be very quiet and still. Don't touch Herbie until Granny says you can. That way, you'll get to know Herbie. Yes, I thought. I want to get to know Herbie. I want to like Herbie. Uh, can I see Herbie? Yeah, come on. I'll be very quiet. What a great girl. Granny was getting Herbie ready for his walk. I was very quiet and still. That's a good girl. Granny said I could stroke Herbie gently. That's it. Now, do you want to take him out? To the park? We took Herbie to the park. Oh, I like getting to know Herbie. Oh, got Herbie Here he goes. Come on, give us it. Come on, give us it. I'm not sure if he likes my toy spider yet. It's only my toy spider. I like Herbie. And I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came through. We sat on the chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, okay. Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are, too. I said bye. thank you and bye bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long I ran in front of him. Take said, Daddy. Wait your turn. Uh, two, please. I took the ticket. 
pig, said Daddy. Don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tank, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. Who rang the bell? It, it, it was us. We're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Wooly. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy, to the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you pressed the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my daddy. I said sorry to daddy. Sorry, dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's okay. Open <laughs> Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. I showed her Willy. It's only a toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. We've been together since we were me. The hospital. When I was little, my daddy hurt himself and went to hospital. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Mummy went to see daddy. So I played with Angel. Well, he came too. Angel and me played dressing up. I put on a crown. Angel wheeled me around in my carriage. At night time, Daddy wasn't better. I slept in Mummy's bed. I wanted to see my Daddy. Me when Daddy pulled me up. I like the picture of Daddy lifting me up to touch the sky. Mummy took me to see Daddy in the hospital. What's that, Mum? That's an ambulance. I like the hospital. The hospital was big. The hospital was busy. We squirted smelly stuff on our hands. Mummy said that in the hospital, everything had to be clean. Don't forget, Willie. There were lots of busy people. It was nearly lunchtime, but people were still in bed. What are those people doing, Mummy? They're all getting better. Mummy said the people were getting better. They didn't look very better to me. Some people were wheeled around in their beds. Looking for their pyjamas, I thought. Daddy had a special room he lived in. Oh, hi. We're done now, so you can go in and see him. I wanted to see Daddy. I looked in the door. 
There is a man in the bed with a towel on his head. Hi there, Tig. He looks like a puppet with strings. Go and say hello to Daddy, Tig. No, I said. That's not my daddy. Hey, Tig. Hospitals are funny places, all topsy-turvy. They can make you feel all topsy-turvy too. <laughs> daddy might not look like Daddy, but Daddy is still Daddy. Daddy looks different, that's all. Daddy hurt his leg, so he's wearing a plaster on his leg to make it better. But he's still Daddy. Daddy hurt his head, so he's wearing a bandage to make his head better. But he's still Daddy. Whee! Daddy looks like a puppet with tubes and things. Diddly doo doo, diddly doo. <laughs> but they are all there to make him better. You look different at angels when you dressed up like a king. Daddy's dressed up like a king too. So hey Tig, have fun with Daddy now he's a king with his crown and his own royal carriage. Whee! And then one day Daddy will be all better and lift you up to touch the sky again. Yes, I thought. I want to see my daddy with his white bandage crown and his puppet strings. Shall I tell you the funny story about what happened? Daddy told me the funny story of why he was in hospital. <laughs> he tripped over running for a bus. And Silly daddy hasn't tied his laces. The blue nurse came in and found Willie on the bed. It's only a size five, <laughs> <laughs> I like hospitals. I love my daddy. And I love Willie. We've been guesses to Willie. Choosing. When I was little, I went to buy some clothes with my mummy. Willie came too. I can see some lovely dresses in here. Mummy said I needed a new dress and a new pair of shoes. At the dress shop, there were lots of dresses to choose from. I chose a sparkly dress. Mummy said it was very pretty for a party. But it's more pretty for a party. Mummy said I need a dress for every day to play in. Mummy showed me a red dress with pockets. I tried my new red dress. Yes, I said. I liked my new red dress. I like choosing. The next shop that we went to had a lift made of glass. I can see some pretty dresses. It was like flying. At the top of the lift we met Daddy. Hi Tig, a lovely new dress. Daddy likes my new dress. Okay then, do a fashion show. <laughs> Daddy bought new clothes too. You were quick choosing, said Mummy. You were very quick choosing all of that. Yeah, the man in the shop helped me. It was easy. Daddy said the man in the shop helped him choose. Let's go get the shoes. See you later. Bye. Here we are. Ooh, look at, at the shoe shop, they had lots of shoes. Hi there. Hi. I liked all of the shoes. So if you want to pop your foot in. The lady had a special measuring machine for feet. The lady said my feet were growing. I couldn't see them growing. The lady said, what colour shoes do you like? Blue, I said. Then I saw a red shoe. I want the red shoe, I said. I tried on the red shoe. So they both fit, but what ones do you like? Which shoe do you like, said the lady. Red and blue. You have to choose one colour shoe or the other. I wanted both shoes. One red, one blue. Mummy said, why don't you choose blue shoes to go with your new red dress? Well, why don't you have a wee think? Both, I said. 
Hey Tig, choosing can be hard. Do I have this one, or do I have that one, or do I have both? Hmm. One blue shoe and one red shoe looks fun. But when you buy shoes, you buy them in pairs. Two shoes together, two shoes that match, two shoes the same colour. So you have to choose. Two blue shoes or two red shoes. Mmm. Hey Tig, it's difficult, isn't it? Sometimes when you are choosing, you need a bit of help. Your daddy had the man in the shop to help him choose. But you have your mummy to help you choose. Mummy said blue shoes will look good with your red dress. Well, you like blue and red together, so why not choose the blue shoes for your red dress? Go for it, Tig! Yes, I thought. I like blue and red together. I'll choose the blue shoes to go with my red dress. Good choice. The lady put my old shoes in a box. When the lady saw Willy, she nearly dropped the box. It's already a toy spider. Trying really hard. On my way home, I played no stepping on the pavement cracks in my new blue shoes. I love Willy. We The beard. When I was little, I went to play with my friend Belle. Hello, how are you? Willie came too. Not all. Belle's house was big. There were lots and lots of rooms. We went exploring. There was a staircase to go up and down. There was a garden too. We saw Belle's big sister, Ruby. Ruby jumped on the trampoline. Belle showed me lots of places to hide and jump out. Then we played hide and jump out. Belle had a little brother called Finny. I played cards with Finny. Belle had mummy called Anne. Anne was kind. She gave us a drink and a biscuit. <coughs> Belle had a big sister called Lottie. Lottie had funny clothes. Fancy shoes. Me and Belle dressed up. Are you trying on my clothes? Lottie laughed. <laughs> Mummy came to take me home. No, I said. No. And I ran away with Belle and Willie to hide. Anne said to Mummy I could stay for lunch. Okay, have all the time. Bye. Bye. Hooray! Yay! I like being at Belle's house. The boys are not always the pink. Look at this, boys and girls. History's never always the way you think it's going to be. At lunchtime, Anne made an apple pie. A little bit more. Belle said apple pie was her favourite. You do? I said apple pie was my favourite too. Oh dear, said Anne. Daddy's going to miss the apple pie. Tell me you think it's nice. Oh, I thought. I didn't know Daddy was coming to lunch. Daddy's home. Hi guys. Hello, Tink. A man came and sat at the table. The man didn't look like a daddy. The man had hair all over his face. Ooh, apple pie. Special treat because Tig's here. Mm. The man looked like a bear. I didn't like Belle's daddy. I didn't like my apple pie. I wanted to go home. Hey, Tig, not all daddies look like your daddy. This daddy looks different. This daddy has a beard. This daddy's not fierce, he's just a bit hairy like a big friendly teddy bear. He doesn't look like a friendly teddy bear. Then just imagine he is a big friendly teddy bear. 
Look at him. Blink. And ting! He's a big, friendly teddy bear. I looked, blinked and ting. There's Daddy with a big, friendly teddy. Then I thought, how could Belle's daddy eat his apple pie if he's only a teddy? Poor Belle's daddy. So I looked, blinked, and ting! Hooray! The teddy was Belle's daddy again. There you see, Tig. Belle's daddy is just like a big, friendly teddy bear. So eat up your apple pie. No more worries. I think it's really, really nice. After lunch, when Belle's daddy saw Willie, no. he was scared. It's only a toy spider. You're a toy spider. Thank you so much. When Mummy collected me, I told her all about Belle's dad having a beard. I like going to play with Belle. I love Willie. We've been Party. When I was little, I went to a party with my mummy and daddy. Happy birthday, Timmy. <gasps> Don't forget Willie. Willie came too. The party was for Timmy's birthday. Angel! My friend Angel was there too. And there were lots of children. The party was in a big room. <laughs> there was a funny man called Josh. Good afternoon, boys and girls. My name's Josh, and I... Josh had a flower that squirted water. We're going to do the hokey cokey. Josh showed us how to do the hokey cokey. We all joined in. You do the hokey cokey and you turn around. And that's what it's all about. <laughs> Pin the tail on the donkey. Pin the tail on the donkey. And Mummy tied the scarf so we couldn't see. I pinned the tail on the donkey's nose. Everybody laughed. It was funny. A big boy was clever. He pinned the tail just where it should be. Well done! Josh had a hooty horn. OK, musical chairs. Let's go. Go! He played musical chairs. On you go. Oh, oh my goodness. There you go. Oh, hard luck. Hey, we've got a winner. Well, done. a big boy won. Time for juggling. Josh juggled sweetie packets. Oh. I like Josh. When he draw one, he gave the packet to me. <laughs> Daddy made a big parcel for pass the parcel. When the music stops, you open the parcel up. When the music stopped, the parcel stopped and was unwrapped. The parcel never stopped at me. I never won any presents. Oh, Sophie! I didn't like the party. I didn't like never winning. Right, everybody, time for birthday cake. Come on. I didn't go for tea. Come on, Tig. You're going to miss the birthday tea. Come on. Hey Tig, look at this. Where will the button go? Where's the button gone? There! Yeah! Well done Tig. Winning feels good. That's why it's fun to win. But Tig, in party games there's often only one winner. So that means you lose more times than you win. Not everyone can win all the time. It's fun that others win too, and fun just playing the game. Angel hasn't won, but she's having fun. Josh hasn't won, but he's having fun. 
You haven't won, but you had fun pinning the towel on the donkey's nose. Hey, Tig, parties are full of surprises. Join in and find the next fun surprise. I wanted more surprises and ran for tea. <laughs> I helped Timmy blow out his candles. I saw Josh Willie. <laughs> it's only a toy spider. He's only my toy spider, I said. I like parties. I love Willy. We beat guesses to a Did you like it? Eating new foods. When I was little, my daddy had a birthday. I gave daddy a birthday cake hat. It's my birthday! Daddy looked funny. We had a surprise. Mummy took us to a restaurant. Willy came too. Inside the restaurant, there were lots and lots of tables. Mummy told Daddy to take his hat off. A grumpy man came along and told us to sit down. Menu for you. Mummy said the grumpy man was a waiter. Daddy was excited and did funny things. Take <laughs> stop it, just stop it, sit up and behave. Mummy told him to behave and sit up straight. So, ready to order? I wanted fish fingers. Fish fingers. <laughs> there were no fish fingers. I think I might have the spaghetti. Daddy said I might like spaghetti. For you too? OK, thank you. Thank you. I saw a little boy. The little boy disappeared. I looked under the tables and saw the little boy crawling towards me. Crash! The grumpy waiter tripped. You shouldn't crawl around in restaurants, said Mummy. Mummy gave me a colouring book to colour in. The grumpy waiter landed our spaghetti plates on the table like aeroplanes. Then we sprinkled pepper with a giant pepper pot. Let's get stuck in. I looked at the spaghetti. It was all long and wriggly. With green and black bits. Mum said just to try a little bit. I ate a black bit. Yuck! Do you not like olives? You ate an olive, said Daddy. I love olives. Daddy took away all the olives. Take this one. Oh, I got it. Try another bit, said Mummy. I wanted fish fingers. Hey, Tig. Not liking things is OK. So now you know what you don't like. Yuck. Find out what you do like. Mmm. I like spaghetti because it's fun and wriggly and yum in my tum. <laughs> hey, Tig, your dad's got rid of the yucky taste, so have another go. Or I'll eat it all up for you. Mmm. Go for it, Tig. Tuck in. So I thought I'll have another go. Oh, look at that big bit. <laughs> That's brilliant. What a good girl. But oh, you're loving it, aren't you? When I finished, the grumpy waiter took my plate away. That's only a toy spider. Then the waiter came back. With Daddy's birthday pudding. Look at that. This is the best birthday cake I've ever had. You really like it. I like new food. 
sounds as Willy. Yeah, he likes that. Mm, he loved it. <laughs> <laughs> I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Splash! When I was little, my mummy and daddy took me swimming at the swimming pool. Right, let's go and get changed. I know, why don't I take Willy? Because we don't want him to get all wet, do we? Mummy took Willy to watch. Daddy took me into our big room. Daddy helped me put on my swimming costume. Come on, take Let's go to the pool. Who's excited? What's that? You go and have a shower. We had to have a shower. The shower was like the rain. Turn right. I squealed. The pool was very, very big. There was lots of water. The water went on forever and ever and nearly out of the window. Willie and Mummy sat in chairs. Mummy waved. I waved to Mummy. Say hi, Willie. A man splashed up and down the pool like a big sea lion. I held Daddy's hand. We saw some children. The children were splashing. Daddy put on my armbands. A lady splashed with her legs. I didn't like the splashing. I want to go and sit on the chairs with Mummy. I don't want to go swimming. Okay, well, why don't Mummy said, why don't I take Teg to the little pool? Mummy took me to the little pool. Wooly came to. Here you go, Teg, look. There, Teg. Why don't you have a splash around? I don't like splashing, I said. Hey, Teg, a swimming pool might seem big and strange and full of sudden splashes, but a swimming pool is just like a big, big bath. You like a bath, don't you? So make it like bath time. You like playing boats in the bath, don't you, Tig? So have fun with this boat. There she blows! Hey, Tig, now you can kneel in the water. It's much more fun. Here's another swimming game. Find the frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Water in your mouth, spit it out. Well done, Tig. You found the frog. Looks like you got your face wet too. Way! Bounce the ball up and down as hard as you can and see how many splashes you can make. So now you know, water and splashing is fun. So go for it, Tig. Have a splash with Daddy in the big pool. Yes, I thought. I like the splashing. I wanted to swim in the big pool with Daddy. I like the big pool. I like the splashing. I like the water all over my face. The big sea lion man saw Willy. It's only my toy spider! It's only my toy spider, I said. I love splashes. I love swimming. I love Willy. First day. Right. When I was little, I loved going to my nursery school. <laughs> Willie liked my nursery school too. At my nursery school, I had my own place to put my coat. 
My nursery teacher is called Claire. I like Claire. Sometimes I play by myself. Sometimes I play with the other children. Sometimes I'm so busy playing that I have to give Willie to my teacher, Claire. Claire always puts Willie somewhere where he can watch me playing on the messy table. Doing my writing. Playing with the sand. Having fun with water. One day, a new little boy came to my nursery. Everybody, this is Rufus. Claire told us the new boy's name was Rufus. Rufus didn't seem very happy. Rufus didn't want to play. Claire gave Rufus some toys. Rufus just looked. When we went out to play, Rufus stayed inside. At story time, Rufus sat by himself. He didn't want to sit with me. There once was a fluffy yellow chick called Charlie. Charlie. Claire told us the story of Charlie Chick. Charlie loved his mummy, and he loved cuddling up underneath her warm, feathery tummy. I like the bit when Charlie Chick is frightened of the outside world till he hears the chirps of the other chicks. We all chirp like Charlie. Rufus seems sad. Rufus made me sad. I'm cross too. What was wrong with Rufus? Hey Tig, there's nothing wrong with Rufus. He doesn't mean to make you sad and cross. Rufus feels just like Charlie Chick. Chip, chip. Rufus has left the nice warm feathers of his home and come out to a new strange place. Now you know all the other children, but Rufus doesn't. You know the games, but Rufus doesn't. You know Miss Claire, but Rufus doesn't. Rufus feels lonely and Rufus feels sad. When you first came to nursery school, you had me. So if Rufus had me to help him for his first day, maybe he'd feel happier. Hey Tig, we'll make you feel happier too. Go for it. Yes, I thought. I'll give Rufus Willy for the day. Rufus likes Willy. And we went outside to play together. The next day, Rufus came to nursery with a teddy called Ed. Rufus was happy with Ed. When Ed saw Willy, he was scared. It's only my toy spider, I said. Rufus likes nursery school now. I love Willy! We Here, wash day. One day, when I was little, my daddy came home early from work. Had a good day. It was nearly bath time, but Mummy said me and Daddy could play a little. OK, you two, there's time for a quick Come game before bath time. Is Willie going to play as well? Hide and seek, hide and seek, I said. Okay, right. Willie played too. Okay. Daddy head first. Okay, no peeping, he said. I counted to ten, but I couldn't quite stop peeping. Nine, ten, where's your knock? Here I go. I found Daddy behind the sofa. Willie's turn to hide, I said. Right, so six, seven. No peeping. Nine, 
Ten. Wooly was hiding under a cushion. Let's see, is he behind there? Daddy found Wooly. There you are. Now it is going to be your turn to hide. And me and Wooly are going to both close our eyes and we'll count to ten. OK, you ready? No peeking, Wooly. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Daddy and Wooly open their eyes. The Wendy house. Are you in there, Tig? They look for a long, long time. Anyone here? No. Bath's run. We'll just be a minute. Did you get the shampoo? Shampoo? I like to have my bath, but I hated having my hair washed. I crept into my little house and hid some more. There you go. Don't be too long. Tig! I think she's behind this curtain. Daddy couldn't find me. Well, she's not there. I didn't want my hair washed. I think she might be in our bedroom. Mummy and Daddy looked all around the house for me. Where's Tay? Well, she's not in the living room. Oh dear. Found you, Tig. No wonder we couldn't find you. You moved tiding places. No hair wash. So that's it. You don't want your hair washed. Stingy. So close your eyes, like in hide and seek. Eyes tight shut, no peeping, so nothing will get in your eyes. Then count to ten. One rubber dubber, two rubber dubber, three rubber dubber, four rubber dubber, five rubber dubber, six rubber dubber, seven rubber dubber, eight rubber dubber, nine rubber dubber, ten rubber dubber, ping, all done. No more stings. <laughs> hey, Tig, go get your hair scrumpled. <laughs> yeah, Rubber Dubba. I'm here, I shouted. I couldn't find you, said Daddy. Hey, Come on before the bath gets cold. Why should we go to wash Willie's hair as well? Bath time, said Mum. Mummy washed my hair. I closed my eyes tight. Like in hide and seek. I think it's too hot. One rubber dubba, two rubber dubba, three rubber dubba, four rubber dubba, five rubber dubba, six rubber dubba, seven rubber dubba, eight rubber dubba, nine rubber dubba, ten rubber dubba, and swish! When my hair was washed, there was a big splash, and Mummy jumped. Don't worry, Mummy. And my toy spider. Mummy dried my hair. Daddy dried Willy. I like having my hair washed. It's so wet. Oh. So does Willy. I love Willy. We think it's to a Timmy's Monsters. When I was little, my friend Timmy came to play. Timmy can draw monsters. I can draw monsters too, but they're not as scary as Timmy's monsters. Timmy can roar like a monster. Roar! <laughs> I can roar like a monster too. <sighs> I like monsters. I like Timmy's monsters. Bulgy monsters. Hairy monsters. Blue monsters. <laughs> That's scary. And lots of red monsters. We had fun stomping and roaring. I think if the monsters were a little quieter, they might have some juice. I love monsters. When it was time for Timmy to go home, he gave me lots of his monsters. Thank you, Timmy. I love Timmy's monsters. And night, night time. At night time, I put Timmy's monsters under my bed. At night, the monsters roared. Ra, ra, ra. All right.
the monsters woke me up. Oh, there are no monsters. They're just pictures, look. Mummy said the monsters were just pictures. No more monsters. <laughs> Mummy took Timmy's monsters away. Will they want to be cuddle? Good girl. And left the light on. I cuddled Willie. The next day I wanted to play monsters. But Mummy had thrown the monsters in the bin. I asked Mummy for my monsters. Mummy, can I get my monsters? No, Tig, they're too noisy. Please. Mummy said the monsters were too noisy. They're just pictures, I said. Mummy said, OK. But no more roaring tonight in bed. I showed Willie my monsters. I didn't think Willie liked my monsters. No, Tig, I just don't like monsters at night. They wake me up. They wake us all up. Hmm. So, Tig, why don't we make your monsters just daytime monsters? Yeah! <laughs> there. One daytime monster. Now, at night, all the monsters need to go to bed. So we make the monster a nice comfy bed. <laughs> one comfy bed and one monster asleep. Night, night, monster. Sleep well. Night time came and all the monsters were put to bed. Night, night, monsters. Look. Night, night, monsters. Here they are, all going to bed, all tucked up, ready to sleep. Mummy was about to sit on the bed when she nearly sat on Wooly. It gave her a surprise. What was that? <laughs> Night, 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 Mummy. Night, night, Wooly. That night we all slept happily. I like my daytime monsters. I love Wooly. We Changing my room. When I was a baby, I slept in a cot. It had big push-up sides. Wooly slept there too. When I was bigger, I got a bed. My old cot was kept on the other side of my room. I liked it there. Willie liked it there too. One day I was busy building. Mummy said a new baby called Ben wanted to borrow my old cot. Tig, could baby Ben borrow your cot? OK, I said. Thanks, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Daddy took his toolbox off to my bedroom. I could hear lots of bangs. Daddy was taking my old cot to bed. He took off one end. He took off the other end. Crash! Daddy shouted, bother. Mummy thought the crash is funny. Daddy clumped down the hall with the cot bits. When I heard the clumping and clatters, I had a look. My old cot looked different, all squashed in bits. I wanted my old cot back in my room. So I hid a bit of the cot behind the armchair. Daddy clumped, clumped along the hall. Wait a minute. Daddy was fuddled. Who's moved the cot? I haven't touched it. Daddy saw the cot behind the armchair. Tig. 
I want it back in my room, I said. Daddy said my room was much better without the cot. Mummy said we can make my room all exciting. I said I wanted it the same. Hey, Tig. Change is scary, but you know what? Change is fun too. Like changing your doll's clothes. Changing the colour of your shoes. Changing what you build with bricks. Whoop. There. Hey, I'm changing your face from grumpy to sad to happy. So go for it, Tig. Have some fun and change your room. Hey, and you'll make baby Ben happy too. He'll love your old cot. Yes, I thought. What's the fuss? Baby Ben can have the cot. There it is. Come on then, let's go and change your room around. Go and and I can room. have fun changing my room around. Mummy and me had fun moving things. Without the cot, we had loads of room. That's us all finished. What do you think of your room? Yes. I don't see my toolbox. Oh! Daddy found Willie in his toolbox. Oh no, there's a spider in my toolbox. It's a spider. Who is it? Oh, it's only Willie. I like my room. And I like changing things. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Baby Ben. When I was little, a baby came to stay for the day. I was very excited. So was Willy. And I made my little house ready to play. Look who it is. It's Baby Ben. I like Baby Ben. Do you have a little look for me underneath Baby Ben's buggy and see if you can find a toy for him to play with? Baby Ben came with lots and lots of things. Nappy. Nappies. What? Wipes. Wipes. Ooh. Clothes. Baby Ben didn't have many toys. Yeah, found it. Just a squeaky thing. <gasps> look. I wanted to show Baby Ben my toys. Mummy said no. He's only a baby. No, he isn't. Can he come to tea in my little house? I said. Mummy, can Baby Ben have tea in my face? <laughs> well, no, because Baby Ben's just very little. No, said Mummy. I think it's time for Baby Ben's nap. Time for a nap, Baby Ben, said Mummy. Baby Ben isn't much fun. I waited for Baby Ben to go to sleep. When Baby Ben was asleep, I asked Mummy if she would like to come for tea. Mummy, would you like to come and have tea? No, sorry, Tig. I've just got a few things to catch up on before Baby Ben wakes up. Mummy said no. Oh, I said I'd played with my car. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> said Mummy. You wake Baby Ben. Mummy likes the baby more than me, I said to Willie. I could be a baby too, just like Baby Ben. Tig, shh, he's sleeping. I wish Baby Ben would go away. Hello. Suddenly, Baby Ben woke up again. Oh, dear. come on. Tig, Tig, could you please move your toys? Mummy's grumpy. I said to Willie. Hey Tig, 
Mummy's not grumpy. Mummy's just busy with baby Ben. Come on, we'll give her a hand. Clean nappies. We'll need one of those. Baby wipes. We need them to make baby Ben nice and clean all over. Clean clothes for Ben. <laughs> hey Tig, and there's Ben's drinking bottle. Mummy will miss that. Off you go Tig. Helping Mum's fun. Here, look what I found. Oh, thank you, Tig. Mummy was pleased. Mummy, here, Mummy. Here's a nappy for baby oh, Ben. Clever girl. And because you've been so good, you can help me change baby Ben's nappy. Uh, yeah. Because guess what? Can I help Mummy change baby Ben? <laughs> mummy, here, Mummy. Put the baby right Oh, here. thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mummy, here's, here's baby Ben. Trousers. Oh, that is so helpful, thank you. We made him all nice and clean again. It's only my toy spider don't be there. <laughs> I like helping Mummy. I like Baby Ben too. I love Willy. Oh, that's nice. We've been guesses to Willy. Sharing. When I was little, my friend Angel came to play. I like playing with Angel. She's fun. See you later. Peekaboo. Peekaboo. We played people. We played sliding. We played jumping on the cushions. Wee! I liked playing with Angel. She makes me laugh. Why don't you go and show Angel your room? Mummy said, Tig, why don't you show Angel your toys? I showed Angel all my toys. The orange came on fire. <laughs> I'm making soup. That's um, that's in the soup for baby's bowl. I didn't like Angel holding my doll. It wasn't Angel's doll. It was my doll. I didn't want Angel to play with my toys anymore. I put Willie to bed. I put all my toys in my little house. I want toys! No! Yes! No! Yes! No! We shouted, shouted, shouted! Shh! What's going on? I want to go home. Oh, of course you can, Angel. Let's go and ring your mum. Oh dear, said Mummy. That's sad you're going home so soon, Angel. Did Tig not want to share her toys? No. No, oh dear. And we went to ring Angel's Mummy. Oh dear. Hey Tig, it can be a bit funny seeing someone play with your toys. But Angel's your friend. Now she's gone. Tig. That's a big jumble of toys in there. That'll take some sorting. Shame there's no one to help. The good thing about sharing your toys is that your toys can suddenly become new and fun again. Maybe if you say a big, big sorry to Angel, she'll come back and play and you can have fun with your toys again. I didn't want Angel to go. She was my friend. I said sorry to Angel. Angel, I'm sorry. In a big, big way. I gave Angel Wooly to play with. <laughs> Hi. 
Angel said she would stay. Angel had really under Mummy's work. Here's a chance. My toy spider, I said. I like playing with Angel. We played and I shared my toys. <laughs> They're like new toys again. I love Willy. We've been since we Bus ride. When I was little, my daddy took me to fly my kite. Is that the bus? Wait for the door to open. We went on a bus. The bus ride was fun. Can we get a two to the park, please? Daddy gave me the ticket to hold. Thank you. Well, we came through. We sat on the chair. And Willie looked out of the window. When we got to a hilly bit, Daddy pressed the bell and the bus stopped. Bye bye. Thank you. Daddy said thank you. That's a good girl. What a good girl you are too. I said thank you and bye bye. Whoosh! Up on the hill, Daddy and me flew my kite. He flew my kite in lots of different ways. Sometimes I ran, sometimes Daddy ran, sometimes we both ran. After flying the kite, I was tired. We waited for the bus home. When the bus arrived, a man took so long, I ran in front of him. Tig said, Daddy, wait your turn. Uh, two, please. I took the ticket. Tig said, Daddy, don't snatch. Sorry. Shh, said Daddy. Sit down, said Daddy. No feet on the seat. Daddy was getting really grumpy. A lady kept staring at me. I didn't like the lady staring at me. Tig, don't be so rude. I was tired and bored. Tank. Daddy was grumpy. Just in front of me was the bus bell. Hmm, I thought. Tank, did you press the bell? Tank, no! Said Daddy. Daddy was cross. Who rang the bell? It, it, it was ours. We're, we're just coming. Come on, we're not going to have to go off the bus now. Get Wooly. Sorry, driver. Thank you, said Daddy to the driver. We're going to have to walk home. But I'm tired. Well, we'll have to wait for the next bus, OK? Horrid, Daddy. Just sit on that. Put your wee bottom on that, OK? OK. I was tired. Hey, Tig, I know you feel tired, but Daddy's not horrid. Daddy's tired too. But when Daddy's tired, he still says thank you to the bus driver. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't throw his bus ticket all over the bus. When Daddy's tired, he doesn't make a face to strangers. Just because you're tired doesn't mean you stop caring. When you feel tired, you can still be nice to people and make sure that whatever you do, doesn't upset them. Ting! Hey and Tig, you pressed the bus bell, not Daddy. And that's why you're waiting for another bus. Daddy cares about you and you care about Daddy. So tell him. Go for it, Tig. Yes, I thought. I love my Daddy. I said sorry to Daddy. Sorry, Dad. Oh, thank you, Tig. That's OK. Open, <laughs> Come on, Tig. When the next bus came, I said thank you to the bus driver. Thank you. Oh, thanks, driver. When a lady smiled at me, I smiled at her. 
I showed her Willy. That's all your toy spider. I like smiles. I like being me. I love Willy. We've been together since we were three. Shadows. When I was little, I didn't like the dark. Willy didn't like the dark either. So Daddy bought me my very own light. The light came in a box. A lamp. A lamp. Ooh, that looks lovely too. Should we go and set it up? Yeah, why don't we go and plug it in in your bedroom? See what your new lamp is. Daddy like. plugged the light in. Then we turned the light on. Turn it off. On. And then off again. Box. I like the box that the light came in. Mummy said I can make something with the box. I made a puppet show. I painted inside the box. I didn't have puppets for my puppet show. When Mummy finished her work, she made me puppet birds. The birds were so sweet. She had little beaks and feather wings. The puppet birds could fly. Do you think they're friends? No, brother and sister. Oh, that's nice. At bedtime, I switched on my new light. Daddy and Mummy came to see my puppet show. Two little jackie birds sitting on the wall. The puppet show was all about two birds who sat on the wall. The birds flew away and then came back. Come back, Tweety. Daddy and Mummy liked the puppet show. I snuggled down with Wooly. And all your lights will stay on until you fall asleep. Mummy left my new light on. Mummy left the big light on too. Then I went to sleep. That night I woke up. All the lights were off, but my very own light was on. It glowed. I felt safe, but when I looked up at the ceiling, something was new. I saw hairy monsters. I hid under the bedclothes. I peeped out. The hairy monsters were still there. I wanted to run away. Hey, Tig, things can look scary at night because things can look different. The light and the dark play tricks. You just need to look again to find out what something really is. So I wonder what those hairy monsters could be. Let's peep. There's your new light. And look, just above the new light is your fluffy sheep mobile. And over there is... Oops! Big hairy monsters! Round and round they go, just like the sheep, because that's what the hairy monsters are. Just the shadows of fluffy sheep. So nothing scary, just shadows. You can make shadows too, Tig. You can make your very own shadow puppet show. Go for it, Tig! No more scaries. Yes, I thought. No monsters, just shadows. I'll have fun making my own shadow puppet show. Mummy and Daddy came to see what I was doing. When they saw a big hairy monster with eight legs walking across the ceiling, they went, <gasps> ah! There's a little spider on the wood. I like my new light. What's this tag? I like making shadow puppet shows. I love Willy. We've been since we were I don't smile. Get your photo taken, you? When I was little, I went to nursery school every day. Willy came too. One day, a man was coming to take our pictures. You're going to look so pretty. Mummy wanted me to look pretty. Oh, you do have a pretty new dress, said Claire, my nursery teacher. 
Something very exciting's happening today, isn't it? Claire said, because the man was coming to take our pictures. So, I think we should put our aprons on to keep clean. We had to keep clean. When we went outside, we took our aprons off and put on our coats. I found a puddle. I had fun jumping in the puddle. When I came back inside, I wanted to paint. Take a look at your socks. I'm going to have to get you some clean ones. Oh dear, said Claire. Your socks are all wet and muddy. I painted a hand painting. Claire likes my painting. Oh. Oh no, your dress. Oops, I forgot to put my apron on. My dress was covered in paint. Claire gave me some new clothes to wear. The man came to take our pictures. When the man finished clattering, he started taking photos. We took it in turns to have our picture. Say, hey, you'll have to wait, said Claire. Mummy's coming with some clean clothes. I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to change my clothes. I wanted my picture now. I felt grumpy. <laughs> Mummy arrived. She had another dress. Claire fiddled with my hair. I felt grumpy. If she doesn't want to change, it doesn't matter. Never mind, said Mummy. If she's happy in those clothes. But I wasn't happy. I still felt grumpy. Who's next then? Next, said the man. I sat on the chair. Are you going to give me a great big smile? Smile, said the man. You sure? I don't I smile, smile, I said. OK, then. The man pressed the camera. Next, said the man. Are you next? I watched the other children having pictures. Whoa! I no one was grumpy, but I was grumpy. Hey, Tig. It's not nice feeling grumpy. But there are so many little things that can make you feel grumpy. Brushing hair, pinchy hair slides, changing clothes, waiting for things to happen. Everything not being quite how you want it to be. But what can make you feel even grumpier is a grumpy face. And a grumpy face makes everyone else feel grumpy too. But if you smile, all the grumps will go away. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Give a smile and you'll feel happy all the day. Give a smile and all your grumpies will turn into your happies. Give a smile and make your grumpies go away. Go for it, Tig. Give a big smile for everyone. Yes, I thought. I don't want to feel grumpy anymore. I want to smile. Make everyone feel happy again. So I sat on the chair and gave the biggest smile ever. When the man saw Wooly, he didn't smile. It's only a tight spider. Oh. I love smiling. Mummy loves my smiling. Oh, look, that's a lovely picture of you, Tig. Especially in the picture. And I love Wooly. I love Wooly and Wooly loves me. We've been together since we were wee.